Hello, students. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Can you see me? Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, can you listen to me? Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, thank. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. So welcome everyone. So for those who are, are right here in the class right now, it's a great opportunity to be here, ready to practice and maximize your English skills. So how was your job? Was good? You had a good time? Was a very busy, busy schedule? How was your day? Tell me. Who would like to share your experience? This day, yeah, it was relaxed, but not the the last week. The last week, uh, I have complicated for me. Um, I have how do you say? Uh, es salido, eh, es salido. I went out. I went out later than my job of my job. Uh, the reason uh I have a right later in my house the, la the last week is uh, um, to um, I was destacado. It's like uh, outstanding. Outstanding in San Miguel. I... You had to go there. To... You, you, I mean, uh... what? You you have to go there or you live there, San Miguel. I, no, I don't live in San Miguel. No, but you you had to go there. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. A long, yes. long. Yeah. Yes. Well, for the reason I was complicated for me the last week. Yeah, it, it was a little bit complicated because of the distance, and also that you had to travel there. Yes, so it could be challenging. But I think yeah. you were very positive. I mean, it was at the end, it was very positive, everything. Yes, uh, I, I believe I really <laughs> this week. Okay, I imagine. So, you know, sometimes there are like days that are kind of VC uh, because we have a lot of things to do. Um, but the most important is to work with the schedule. And also, as you said, you, you had to be positive, and that's uh, what matters. 
Thank you so much for sharing uh, your experience. So someone else would like to talk about your, your, your weekend. How was your weekend? Any volunteer? Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Oh, hello, welcome. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. All very good. Well, uh, about my uh, weekend, uh, last Saturday uh, in the in the morning, uh, I take take my son to uh, academy, English academy. And when and when come back uh, in the afternoon, I was painting my 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 house because uh, almost. Uh, December is 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 close. It's near. Yeah, for for this reason, I I was painting. Yes, and I like I like so much to do that. That's all, teacher. Okay, That's thank you. So, yeah, thank you so much, Osman, for your experience. Well, I know that there are like uh, busy times, a little bit more relaxed time. You know, works is like that. We had to be ready for everything. Thank you. All right. So, guys, welcome to everyone. Uh, you know, something interesting that I, I just want to highlight about this class is that most of the time we are ready and active to practice. I mean, the purpose we are here is because every day we have to practice. We have to maximize our skills. And uh, according to my personal experience, um, um, there's always that I just want to say, if, if, if we are here, it's because we want to maximize our skills. We're here because we have the need for improving, for working a lot to show that we are capable to maximize our skills. And uh, no matter what circumstances happen, you come home late, tired, or you know sometimes exhausted because let's be honest, sometimes it's kind of hard. But you're here ready to practice, to learn, and also you have the responsibility. And that's what's matter. And that's what I love, that we had to show that. And also our learning process becomes more interesting and more valuable about what we do. So let me tell you that I feel that and I just want to congratulate you because every time you work so hard to reach the goals and I'm pretty sure that coming soon, your English will be even much better than now. All right, let's continue. Okay, I want to ask you guys, what do you remember what, what do you remember we started in the last class? Give me some ideas because I, you know what? I forgot everything. So can you tell me what we did in the last class? Okay, uh, do you remember what we started in the last class, the last uh, Friday? Any volunteer that would like to share? Yes? Hello, hello? No volunteers to share what we did in the last class? Don't, don't scare me, don't scare me. I, we have, we're 16 right now, so maybe someone can remember what activities we developed or what we did. If you stay quiet, that's mean that nobody remembers or don't want to practice. Okay, nobody. Well, so if you remember in the last class, we were talking about, you know, trainings. We had the chance to think about some important points related to trainings with vocabulary and expressions and also a conversation. 
And uh, what I love about this class is that we have the time to, I mean, to work in the, in different skills, not just like expressions. We read, we analyze, we listen. We work in some important skills. We will continue today working uh, with some other activities. And we talk about how to measure uh, the effects of training programs, because the focus about this uh, unit it's to talk about, and uh, in that case, the training program. And we have some questions that I want you to ask related to um, jobs. That, that is the first one. And what is the normal day in your position entail? The question is, what, what are the most common things you do in your daily activities? For example, in the morning, I, I just go to work and then I'm gonna check my emails to see if a client or a customer has uh, written me something or I just like give instructions to the people in the company. Uh, sometimes I revise my files, I document some information, I store some uh, things that are in the company. So you describe your normal day in the company. That's what I want you to do in English. And after you have described a, a normal, uh, a normal uh, moment or a normal day in your job, you will respond to following questions. And the following question says, like, what projects is your team working on now? So, is there any project that perhaps in your team you are developing, or you're working in something specifically that you would like to share in the class? You also can do that. Um, the, the next question is, are any examples of past projects available for review? I mean, maybe if you have any special projects, um, something that you would like to review or something like that, you can also share this information. Look at the next one. Look at the next questions. Um, what challenges um, have past employees faced in this, in this job? For example, perhaps some employees that are not, are not now in the company. They quit or they retire for some circumstances, but they, what were the challenges they experienced because they didn't understand the product or they didn't understand the company or what, what was the reasons why they had to face a situation in the company? Look at this. What resources are available for this position? So we're talking about your position. What resources? Well, we have we have computers. We also have some uh, kind of machines that we use for working. Oh, no, we don't need some tools, just like paper with document information, files. So what resources are available in your job that you have external resources? And uh, look at the next one. Uh, is the team looking for someone with a specific skills to fill any gaps in knowledge or not? These are the other questions, right? Is the team looking for someone with a specific skills? For example, well, we need a we need a candidate for the company, but that contains these specific skills because we don't manage these skills. That's why we need an, a new employee that have these specific skills, right? That's why it mentions any gaps in knowledge. And the last question is, are there any mentors on your staff or on staff, for example, in your group? Well, in, in, my, in my department, we are seven, but well, in that case, uh, we need a mentor because sometimes we don't know how to manage something specifically. And we need a person who guide us to do some kind of task or jobs. So, so we need a manager or a person that can guide us in the process. Or perhaps you could say, well, because I have a lot of experience in the company, I don't need a mentor uh, because we know what to do and we know the procedures, we know the policy in the company, we understand everything, so we don't need mentors in our team. So I want you to socialize uh, with your partners the following questions, but, I, but in this time, I want you to think about this questions. If you have any, any doubts, you had a freedom to uh, say, teacher William, being honest, I don't understand the question number three. Can you help me with that? Or can you help, can you give an example about the question, the number five, because I have a doubt related to the context of these questions, or how can I respond this part? And uh, try to think about it, try to give a brief, a brief answer. 
So you don't need to like to explain everything uh, too long. Just in a briefly way, you explain the reasons why for each question. So that's what we had to do. A briefly respond, no long answers, because what I need you to do is be very specific in every single answer to socialize with your partners. Okay, before that, we start now with the questions. I would like to ask you, is that clear for you guys? Are the questions and instructions clear? Yes, it is clear. Emerson, right? Okay, thank you. All right, that's okay. Let's do it and also let's practice. Yeah, okay, I will give you a couple of Richard, minutes. Yes. Richard, excuse me. I know I'm sure about the uh, indication. You you don't know? About this right I know I, I know I know clear about uh, what how we need to do. We have to respond the questions related to our personal experience in the company or in our jobs. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Thank let's you. you're you. welcome. You're welcome. So let's do it. I will be here watching you by any chance um to think about the answers. Try to be very brief and specific for every single answer.
Well, so don't forget that if you have questions, do you have the freedom to, you know, to ask? And uh, Wendy, uh, do you have a question or oh, not for the moment? No questions? No, for the moment, teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Carlos Ernesto, uh, questions? Maybe um, more clear and the question, uh, what resources are available for this position? Okay, for example, in your company, in your job, do you use resources to work? For example, if you travel, you have a vehicle, you have a car in the company, or if you uh, have computers to work in some files, to check products, you have some special machines. The resources are the things you use to work. Uh, okay, okay, I got it. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, Jasmine, do you have any questions? No, teacher, for a moment, no. Okay, okay, great. Thanks. Quem?
Okay, students, we're gonna take, um, in that case, uh, three more minutes to conclude, and then we're gonna take a, a short time to uh, socialize what, or answers what we have uh, responded. Meanwhile, I will take a time to check the attendance list. So just allow me one moment. I, I will stop sharing my screen and you will listen your name. Okay, let's check the list. Um, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos. Carlos Alberto. It's not uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Emerson, thank you. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Kevin Alfredo. It's not him. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Osman. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Rafael. Eh, Ricardo Ernesto. Present. Ricardo. Yes. Eh, Sifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present. Eh, Wendy Maricela. Present teacher. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present teacher. Present. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you guys.
Okay, yes. One second. All right, so Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Is Manuel here? Present teacher. Thank you. I'm here. Okay, this is the Good time. Word. Yes, sorry. Oh, nothing. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, now let's uh, let's move to the breaker rooms and practice. What I want you to do is to take a short time to socialize with your partners with the questions in a briefly way. And uh, let's participate actively. Also connect to, uh, to the groups. Everybody, please move to the breakup rooms because there are some students who connect the class and they stay here when we have moved to uh, to other rooms. So you have to move because if you stay here, you have to move uh, to the breakup rooms and practice. Okay, let's do it. Okay, please, for those who stayed, move to the breakout rooms. There are some groups that are now connected, and there are some others who haven't moved to the breakout rooms. Remember that the goal is that everybody stay here and practice here in the class. Arrive on seven and fifty minutes, ten minutes before my hours, and so the first thing that I do is to watch the email, and so if there is any important, I try to answer as soon as possible, and after that I get a little meeting with my co-workers, and we decide the agenda for the day, and we were looking for for this. That's it. This is the basic for my day. I don't know what about you. Mm, for me, similar. The first thing is check the emails. <laughs> Always, all, all of the days, uh, I need to check the emails because uh, when I left, uh, when I disconnect because uh, it worked at uh, my house. Yes. When I disconnect at... Um, 5 30 p.m always send emails okay. and for the for tomorrow for the last uh, uh, the following day is correct or the next day sorry and then uh, i check the tickets for the from the users i attend their request when the users call me Hello, Nelson. I need your help with something. Uh, I give the the support for them. Uh, okay. I check the meetings. I check my projects. Uh, it's a it's a normal day for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, is somebody else here in this meeting? Bien. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Jorge yes. And Jose Salvador. Well, well, Jorge. Go yeah. ahead. Well, in my case, my normal day uh, when I started to my work, um, every day I 
I check uh, the different uh, result for the last day. And then I type the different reports with these results and send it to my boss. Um, also, I check the attendance for the different uh, production lines with my supervisor each by each. Uh, I check each by each uh, lines. And I don't know, I, I try to resolve a uh, little problems uh, when uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, the different uh, problems with the attendance. The attendance is when you miss uh, different employees in uh, uh, any position. And then uh, I am... Um, I have a meeting every day um, at more or less at 9.30 in the morning. Um, uh, before the, the meeting, I check my different emails. And if I need to type, uh, I need to type a, a different report, but in this moment I make... Um, more or less at 11 or 11.30, I check the different results uh, for the day with my supervisors. Um, in the afternoon, um, rarely we have a other meeting with the supervisor and the plan manager for checking the different results in the day. And uh, I try to keep the different um, information or or um, keep the the balance uh, to the to the different uh, lights uh, lines uh, and uh, I try to uh, present the results uh, for the end of the day. Okay, very good. So, what about for the question number two? No, but uh, sorry, uh, but Jose Salvador, I don't know if oh, you sorry, uh, sorry, yes, because I don't know if you have a uh, participation. No. Thank you, thank you. My normal day is uh, develop a, a new product, a new toolings, a new customers and there is a, a lot of products in the factory because we designed the shovel we designed the racks and we designed the the beading fork also tools for agriculture you know yeah it's, uh, it's a new product and we have a we have a Maybe you can say it, that we are hurried to finish because the, the line, line, daylines is near to now. Yes. The Emerson, right. is, Emerson, excuse me, uh, where do you work? I, I don't remember. I work in Imacasa. Imacasa, yes. Okay. Yes. Santa City, right? Yes. We, okay. we factory the, the agricultural tools. Sifrido, do you know? More or less, uh, uh, what uh, about the is the uh, Emerson's factory? Yes, I know uh, this one was famous because in the past was a hot zone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, in this factory Pro make probably to I don't know how to say uh, Los Colonial to it's like to space the two urban space that was really dangerous in the past. I don't know if it's the others, but I know this song by these this warnings. Yes, in this in this factory it makes a tool for for the for different jobs. For, for example, comas, machetes, 
palas, eh, Ah, salones. Es very in in interesting, interesting for me. What yeah. products are all forged? Uh, the, 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 the majority of products is forged. And we have a design that in, in actually we designed the, the process to forging areas and develop the the new process for make a rack. Yes. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, uh, Sufrido, what projects, what projects are working? In? Uh, <laughs> to be honest, working on IT, right now there's a lot of projects. Um, something I can mention is, something is not. But basically the main projects uh, we are working now is like the train voicing in this case for El Salvador and also for other countries. Um, basically that is the main. And another one is like improve some system performance or look for ways to improve the performance just in case we are getting in the high season of sales for a lot of companies. So we are basically want to provide a better solution for performance on these days. Um, okay. Those are the main projects. Uh, we have a lot of other projects, but I think it's not worth. <laughs> so we yes. are not worthy to talk about it. <laughs> yes, it, it is the same in, in my case also. We have a lot of projects, but the main uh, are I told you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see the third question. Is are an example of past projects available for review? Uh, in the case, uh, um, simple. There's a lot of projects. Uh, yes, from the former projects, we got a lot of experience to apply in the new ones and um, try to get the new projects better. So getting the feedback. <laughs> um, what about us? Uh, in my case, um, yes, we can. Uh, let me see. We can review the training on MT MTM. Uh, MTM. In Spanish, MTM is uh, is a way or platform to calculate the time standard time standard standard time tempo standard standardized time standard time, time. time standard time standard yes time standard uh, we 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 also work with GSD. Uh, this is the other uh, platform to determine uh, time, st uh, time standard. Time standard, yes. Yes. Uh, you, you you can you can review this this project. Uh, also, uh, we we have a viable a viable uh, the other project. Uh, for example, efficiency efficiency calculation calculations. Yes, because we. We worked in this project because uh, uh, almost almost uh, almost all supervisors cannot calculate cannot cannot calculate uh, the deficiency. And for this reason, we worked in, in that. Yes, uh, we we make a, a presentation about the, the this topic. Uh, we we give them a uh, formula formula how do you say formula teacher teacher formula For, formula yeah we have for, formula uh, for them yes uh, this is uh, uh, there are the the main projects can you review in our available okay uh, Emerson? Well, um, in my case, 
we currently work with many standards and procedures, such as uh, Six Sigma, SMED, Okayok, etc. Yes, we apply different pro uh, different methods for measure the efficiency and the process of uh, the uh, effectively too. Actually, we work with the continuous improvement. Always have a, a one day a year dedicated to to the say to show the advance of the projects, uh, including the, this this metal six sigma is met okay, okay MTM. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, very good. The So, so we have that difficult because when when you are um, sorry, uh, uh, physically the rotulos rotulación. No remember. Okay, the in my case in my in my store phys, uh, physical is necessary that the identification of the customer, for example, a manual visual no complete, and in the important uh, the, uh, the control no permitted the the uh, rotulos labeling maybe labeling what okay. what, Label. what what word are you looking for? Rotular in a area specific labeling? No. Yeah. It's not labeling. Le lettering. Lettering. Oh, lettering. No. Yes. Lettering. lettering is the action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And labeling is the, the noun. Yes. The label the, is the description. The... Yeah. It's when. Okay. The, yes. Yeah. The description. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. The lettering in my. Store and the department, the department, the market, and the market, marketing depends on the situation. And the presupposes is available in this moment. The, the, the define the visual in your prospect, the, the image in concept the store. And this is activity the, in my case. Okay, and talk to you the IT department as well. <laughs> because yeah. you need to change your laptop. <laughs> uh, my laptop, yeah, yeah, I have the laptop. It's, uh, it's necessary. Uh, my job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the next, the next is the team looking for someone with a specific skill to fill any gaps in knowledge. Mm -hmm. In my case, honestly, all the time in develop in developer team, they are looking at a specific um and a specific person that that they that they know or the knowledge is in different frameworks, for example, GDOS is different language and and IT. And I think that this is the 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 team that are looking it for it is someone that that all the time requiring that for any for for the gaps that we have in in the new technologies we have to develop the new technologies maybe an app and app an app or i i android and iphone app we have to develop as well and we oh. have to know that different language mm -hmm. it sure. yeah <laughs> IT in department. Yeah, in the, and IT department. Yeah, all the time they are looking job, like create the new application. <laughs> yeah, so and, yeah. Yeah, and IT or system or technical. It's more technical, yeah. I think, that the that the 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 person they they need requiring all the time because the gap that we have in 
develop the apps or maybe games or maybe a specific uh, requirement for the customer and yeah and and this is the 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 specific person or that in now uh, in my team for example because it's developed in your case uh combined on the next question <laughs> are there any mentor on the staff uh are there any mentor yes my yeah the manager <laughs> the the <laughs> The pre yeah. managers or the leader technical in exactly. IT, yeah, they are mentors. Absolutely, I think that they they are mentoring in in my staff and IT department because you have to follow that the instruction or you have to follow on that they they are based on on in his or and they experience try to solve that the problem and and try to to look better that the issue that we have or the gaps that we we will have in 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 when when we are de develop the the task or the requirement for the customers wow and your team <laughs> and your staff <laughs> okay in my case uh, for um, it's different uh, in my opportunity i need a skill a skill the the base day that they base for example in ba uh in this moment uh, it's necessary for the analysis the the result in the the different position in my case no available the in the sky the 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 program because it's necessary uh learning right and in this moment this is a, a uh, the looking for me uh, the Skyla uh, and sourcing. But you, have any mentor, mentor, uh, but you have any mentor as your and your is okay. And so so let's move on to the next question. The this uh that's it. What resources are available for this position? In my case, and specifically in our team, we are constantly tra training constantly. Yes, we are learning as soon as possible for our area, me and my team, to be honest. So for me, this is one of the best resources. And after that, the... the our equipment is, is in good condition. But for me, the best resource is training the personnel from the area. Focus, obviously, on the area. I don't know what about you for this question. Very well. Jorge? Maybe he's still in the same call. In my, in my case, um. Well, I, I need a, for example, in my area, I need a, for my work, for my different activities, I need a, a, a computer. Then I have my, my, my personal computer in my, in my desk. Okay. And well, for the, in the work, in, in, in my work, in my job, I need the different resources, machines, um well i don't know the different uh, we we have a um a, a system for the production control and uh, all the employees have a a tablet in this uh, tablet uh, we check what is the result for the employees hour by hour uh, my supervisor have your um personal tablet and uh, uh each employees uh, for the unit for the production line have uh, his tablet too because in this system uh, they into the production hour by hour and we need to check 
uh, online, what is the different result uh, for the all employees? Okay, so th okay. They, they use a platform, a kind of platform or an application. Mm, no, we have um, a system. A system offline, yes. Uh, the, uh, the name is uh, Showflow. Uh, okay. In this system, we uh, can see the different uh, um, points for the company, the production. Uh, we can uh, to see uh, what is the quality, attendance, uh, the time for the uh, work for the uh, the employees, and uh, for example the different uh, numbers for uh, each uh, bundles or 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 package. Uh, in the the in the process for the for the company and woof is is the the information is a lot yes because uh, in this system uh, is connect with the other system in the company and uh, with this system you can see what is the pay for the for the all employees in the company. Uh, you generate uh, the, um, I don't know, teacher, uh, how do you say a uh, planilla? Sorry, I can't hear you. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I was like, I was like, uh, actually checking that. <laughs> sorry, what was the, what was the question? You were saying that. Yeah. Like a oh, kind of, I, 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 planilla. It's a kind of worship, planilla. a worship like that is what we call, and uh, that is what we call planilla. It has a definition. Okay. I'm gonna use the chat. Yes. In this, in this, in this system, you you can uh, to see or generate the uh, uh, worksheet for the employees. Uh, we names worksheet. Um. In in this system, the words worksheet uh, we use for the different uh, number that have a different load or or the cut, for example, the cut has the many dozens for the manufacturing or sewing. In the number with you identificate this could is a worship. This system is very complete, and the all employees have a um, personal tablet. Uh, but we have the same system, uh, the supervisor in the tablet, and myself in the in the computer. And we check the different results and we check the different movements for the, not only for the production, uh, also the different moves uh, for the uh, different tools in the company. Oh, oh, that was a very, very interesting description, George, about what you do in your job and also the resources you used. Very interesting. In the past, uh, teacher, it uh, was uh, very difficult to uh, keep the different control for the production, for the worksheet, for the pay for the employees, because all activities, all reports, uh, uh, made uh, in a manual and for example right now just you can count what is the production for the any employees in the past we need to count uh, bundle by bundle 
Oh, what was it? It took more yeah, time. Yes. It's now it's more systematic, right? Okay, that was very interesting. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, well, that was very interesting. Well, I, I need to move on to the another uh, breaker room, and uh, in two minutes we will we'll go back to the main section. Okay. Okay. Hello? Okay, students, well, uh, thank you so much for coming here. Well, so it was a very nice talk. I, I know that most of you talk about interesting things related to your jobs. And it was a really surprise because first of all, it's like, um, you were like describing what you do in, you know, most of your jobs are very interesting. And I, something else that I could observe is like, you have a lot of experience working in your areas. You have, some of you have many years working in the area. so. You, you know pretty much about the systems, about the methodology, about the way how to work with the things, and plus the resources that you, most of the time you use in your job. That's very good. Also, some of you uh, are like mentors for others because perhaps people are who are coming to the to the company. They don't know how to um try some things. To, and you, you guide them to, to, to do a great job in, in the company. So that's good. You know, when you have like more time, you have more experience, you become successful about what you do. And also you can support other people to do a, a specific task or doing that one. Also in a, in, a, in a company, always there are some, you know, positions that require some specific skills. Those skills um, need to be fulfilled uh, that perhaps uh, we need uh, people who got an experience related to that area or a specific mastering. Some of you, uh, they require engineers they uh, with a specific education or a specific training. And the best way is that. That is uh, something interesting. And uh, we could, like, in that way, um, socialize some important aspects about that. I was listening to some of you that you were, like, describing and uh, what you do and also I, I was like a little fascinated because you were very clear to on um, to explain what was happening and also what what were you doing and that's good because you manage your position you got experience and everything okay let's continue with the next part but i don't know if you have any questions or doubts
or any comments. If you would like to share something about your experience, you also had a freedom to, to talk. Uh, questions, by the way? No. Okay, uh, that's good. Yes, all right. Okay, now let's continue with the following exercise. In this case, is look at the following words and write the real meaning. We have a list, a coordinate, follow up on, scheduling. We have a coordination, invoiced, swanced, allocation, logistics, assignment, enrollment, database, inquired, inquiry, ship. Meant. So we can check this vocabulary that is are always related to training, words related to training, and also the, the main purpose about this word is that we know new vocabulary, the expressions that most of the time we use formally in a job. Imagine that you go to an, uh, uh, well, to work in a company, you need to know about database that is very, very common to use the shipment inquiry, uh, assignment, logistic, enrollment, the other words that are very common especially when we talk about trainings and also these things. So I will give you a couple of minutes to look for the words. And then we're going to work in pairs and you will um, share, uh, for example, meanings. I can say, okay, Wendy, you will uh, give me the meaning about coordinates. I will give the meaning about follow up on. Uh, Carlos will talk about scheduling. Uh, Carlos Jose will say the meaning about coordination. So, in, in your pairs, in your in your in pairs, you will share uh, the definition about the following words. You should know the meaning in English, and you should know the meaning in Spanish. How do you can explain that? Imagine that you speak English, and uh, somebody tells you, "I'm sorry, I, I don't know what's the meaning about enrollment. Can you explain me what's that in English?" And you're like, uh, what's the meaning? I remember that I saw that in a dictionary, but I forgot the words. So I can, what can I do to know the words? So you saw the the meaning, the the, the the key terms, and you know the meaning in Spanish, or you know the meaning in English, and you can explain without any problems the meaning about enrollment. So I will give you this time in a brief way to share, um, well, to look for in the internet or in a dictionary the following words, and then in the breakout rooms we will. Uh, socialize the meaning. You will take one word each and you will start explaining the meaning about each one. Okay, we can start right now.
Okay, um, almost ready, students. Uh, did you find all the words? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so we're gonna be checking each one, and also I need your help for that. And we're gonna be working in pairs in a briefly way, and you will uh, choose one word each. Uh, for example, you I explain liaise, you explain coordinate, I explain follow up on, you explain scheduling. I explain coordination, you explain invoiced, uh, then you explain issuance, I, I explain allocation. So each one will um, keep the meaning of each one because of the time. So I'll give you four minutes to socialize all the words. And then we have a uh, general uh, plenary and we're gonna be uh, talking a little bit about some specific words. Okay, let's go back to the breakup rooms. The only one difference is that we will, um, well, let's see, one word for each student. You have four minutes to socialize all the words. Let's go. For, for example, the concept follow up on. Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh, i looking for this to try to get more information about something. Mm -hmm. For example, the, the police followed the pong on the leads. Mm -hmm. O sea, dice, uh, I. In Spanish, I don't know, darle seguimiento a algo. Mm -hmm. It's called teacher. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I, I think uh, this word is like, um, I don't know, tracking a specific event. Uh, I don't know. Uh, from the beginning to end. To end. Maybe it's, uh, I think that. Mm -hmm. I think it's similar, I think. For example, other example is, he says that the police mm -hmm. failed to follow upon on his complaints. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's mega tracking from the beginning of the end. Uh, yes, the star and the finish <laughs> mm -hmm. and something. Okay. Yes. And the, the, the first word, for example. Ah, oh, the first. Um, uh, lia liaise. Liaise. Mm -hmm. Liaise, yes. Okay. I have when organization or people liaise, or when 
one organization liaises with another. They work together and keep each other. Yes, this may be all like a link. link. Yes, mm -hmm. link it's between link. Link. It, it's two. joint uh, two parts, maybe yeah. of the I don't know. It, it's joint two parts that the maybe or oh, is part of the 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 same system, for example, and working together, right? Yes, uh -huh. I I so understand. Lia is a ser enlace, algo así. Like a link. Link. The system yeah. is link. Uh -huh. link. Link and the the two system uh, for the uh, the all or two, or two people. Right? <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Okay. okay. The second the second word coordinate. Coordinate. Coordinate I found it mm -hmm. similar combi combine or combine, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Com combinar. Mm -hmm. I don't Coordinate. know. Coordinate. Coordinate, yes. Ah. Because the coordinate is the action, right? Coordinate is the action. The direction. Uh, maybe I think the coordinate is to identify all the parts involved uh, and make uh, the the word. I, I don't know how to say. It. Armo, arm, harmoniously. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the concept I have is coordinate to make many different things mm -hmm. uh, work effectively uh, as a whole, as algo completo. Mm -hmm. In the next one, uh, the, the... A schedule. A schedule. A schedule. Yeah, I don't have. <laughs> a schedule. I think I find, find is a, I don't know, is a, a scheduling. A scheduling. It's, it's a, a list of tasks in the specific a uh, time date date no line time line timeline yes uh, i understand is it is same schedule only a mm -hmm. uh, 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 executive or uh, ejecutar i know I, I, in this 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 moment execute mm -hmm. execute okay execute. <laughs> execute is this moment Scheduling. This mm -hmm. card, teacher. Yeah. Are the okay. task list? <laughs> okay. In invoice, invoice for example, uh, invoice is like a bill. Uh, I think the difference is the bills is when. Uh, you paid in the future, right? And the invoice is the is the similar, but the is when you pay in the moment. It is a document the store gives you in the moment. You pay in the moment, and they give you a, uh, a ticket. A ticket, for example. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. And the bill is is like a bill. Only the bill is uh, paid in the future, right? Mm -hmm. Invoice. Maybe Next. Well. Database, for example. <laughs> Database. Database, uh, I only know in... Issuance. In IT. Emission. Yes. 
What 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 was the question? Issuance. Uh -huh. In Spanish is a emisión. Emission. Yeah. Emission, but uh, also mm. like distribute distribute something. The action of supplying. Ah, okay. Or distributing something. Ah, okay. Distribuir también. Uh -huh. yes. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Yes. Uh, repeat, for, please. Uh, the meaning about the the issues is ah, okay. em, emitir or um o una acción de dar o distribuir algo. Uh, okay. The next allocation, allocation. is to assign uh, uh, a task. Hello. Hello. Eh, a lo que ella, por mí, no sé si estaré equivocada. Um, is like semen at work or at the at text I have to a complete for example I don't know. Uh, for me a location is put something uh, somewhere hola for me a location is put something uh, somewhere ah okay. Mm -hmm. okay when you put something oh. in, in, in Something. Or, or assign, assign, assignar. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. In a specific place, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Area, area. A area. Um, okay. In a specific area. Correct. Assignation, assign, assignation in my, in my world. Yes. Yes. Uh, maybe a task? No. no. Uh, Emerson, I'm sorry, can, can you repeat uh, your concept? Yes, is assignment is a task that someone in authority has asked to do to do. 
Ok. Ok, ok. Sí, Simon. Someone who is... Someone who is an assignment is doing a particular job or piece of work. Okay. Hey, the enroll, enrollment, enrollment. Hey, this word, uh, I never, I never hear, hear. I don't know the, the mean this word, enroll, enrollment. I mean, it's like the act of putting yourself or someone else in the official list of something like a class, a job, a volunteer. Okay. It's like an inscription, maybe. Um, inscription. Very similar. Oh, okay. Enrollment. Uh, inscription. When you start the college, you had to enrollment. Enrollment. <laughs> I think enrollment is like more formal, probably. Okay. The other one is database. Database. <laughs> the circuit instead of database. data held in a computer. Is very, very, very easy. easy. Is uh, full information about the about certain process. Yep, as well. Yes. Okay. So, what is like okay. well, a lot of personal we say that oh it's something. <laughs> that should be in a computer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> but in the old way, it's not only a computer, it could be on paper or organized way to store information. For example, in my company, when we had a, we had a, a database, for example, for calculate efficiency, in this, data, in this database, we had number of operators, hours, hours labor, the uh, units produce, 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 un, units produce, produce. But a uh, description is um, the, the, the other one. Uh, but this is mo most similar when you, when you uh, tell me. Okay. Um, let's move on to the next one. Database. The, sorry? Database. Okay. Database. Database is an, or, is an organized collection of structured information. Most of the time we drive this on a specific system for each company, right? Yeah, because uh, also... For example, when you uh, save the different information. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, well, a few years ago, uh, in my case, in our company, uh, we create a database for the different uh, employees in, that is that in this moment uh, put the vacuum for the COVID. Oh, and yeah. we the create... Vaccine. the database for this information. Mm, okay, so the next one, inquiry. I I haven't, I have never seen that word before. Therefore, I, I have a lot of bit of, of the meaning. This is, what is an inquiry? It's an act of requesting information. Usually in the form of a question. I don't know what do you find for this word. In in, in our case, in a company, is like that uh, a document uh, for the different activities, um, for the different process. We create inquiry uh, when we uh, need to present uh, different information for the inventory, for example. Yeah. And the last one is shipment.
Well, most of us were right here uh, after socializing the vocabulary. Well, th these words are very common, especially in the uh, jobs area, the companies area, because we know those words like, like issuance that liaise, coordinate, follow up on, scheduling. So we're going to be checking that one. So just brief, give me a brief uh, moment. Uh, I need to check the attendance list for the second time. And um, well, so I need you to do me a favor. Um, you listen your name, you say present. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Eh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, teacher. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present, teacher. Eh, Jose Bernardo López. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Jose Salvador. Present, Thank you. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Eh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Eh, Osman Enrique Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Rafael Alexander is not here. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Cipri Ernesto Gomez. Present. Eh, Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present. En Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, socialize the vocabulary. So these words are very, um, very interesting and common, especially when we're talking about jobs. So we're going to try to combine both, um, both languages because we need to know in English and Spanish the real meaning about each one. So we can also check the first one, liaise, that, that is the pronunciation of all the words. Liaise is the act between uh, parties, between groups, with a view to reconciling differences, like to, to try to get a solution, to find um, a kind of balance between the two lines or two groups. Um, so actually, liaise is a very common word. It is, um, the term is like French. It's like to, to make a connection between two things, two lines. Establish a working relationship. That's the word, uh, the clear word about this one. In Spanish, it's like, uh, like uh, hacer enlace entre dos, conectar, formar relación, right? That's the meaning of all the aged. Uh, yeah, Manuel Antonio. Yeah, I, I know that. Thank you. And then we have the term coordinate. This is like a piece of cake, right? is the equal importance. So when we coordinate, we combine, we have of equal importance, we rank or also degree. That's the meaning about the coordinate because both have the same level. And then we have a follow up on. The follow up on is to carry further or advance. This is a very common term, especially in the working area. So what could be the real meaning about follow uh, follow up on. Actually, the real meaning in Spanish is like a, give a, give a, a guidance to something specifically. In Spanish, it's like uh, darle seguimiento algo. That's the meaning about follow up on. And then we have the, in, uh, the, in the terms scheduling. Scheduling, that's the real the pronunciation in American English. Scheduling is like setting an order. And time, we have a specific time and a specific order for plan events. We have a scheduling activities for this time. So that's mean that you have to respect the schedule, the time and of the event. That's what we call scheduling. And then we have a coordination. This is an adjective. This is a noun, sorry. Uh, the coordination is an, a noun. 
A coordination is simple. It's a regulation of diverse elements into a harmonious operation. Like when we have an activity that everything is organized in the best way, there is a coordination. It's diff combine different elements in that harmonious operation. Everybody know what to do. That's what we call the coordinations. And then we have the next word that is invoiced. What is the term about invoice? Invoice is um, itemized statements of money owned for goods of services. This is a very common word, especially when we talk about banks, about different products. It's a list of goods sent or service provided with a statement of the sum due of these bills. For example, we say in Spanish like factura, right? Do you work with the uh, with the invoices in your company? Yes, that is facturas, right? Uh, that will say that in Spanish. Yeah, that's what we call invoiced. And then we have an uh, issuance. What is that? In that case, when we're talking about the issuance, we're talking about the act of providing an item for general use. That is very simple. Or for official purposes. And we were speaking with a, with a small group. We were talking about this word issu issuance. And also we were, we were discussing a little bit about the meaning in Spanish because it's the, the action of supplying or distributing something especially for official purposes like like emission oh that's the meaning like distribuir right like distribute um also related to emission broadcast released that's the meaning about that about insurance the distribuir algo that will say that in spanish and then we have the next word allocation Allocation is the act of distributing or apportioning according to a plan. This word, it's a, also very common in jobs, in especially in companies. And in Spanish, it will be a very common word like asignación, right? That's because the term is the action or process of allocating or distributing something similar to insurance. In that case, in, in Spanish, it's like asignación, asignar, distribución, asignación, distribución. Allocation is the noun, es el sustantivo, right? That's why the, the, the term will be asignación, distribución, or reparto, the things about the allocation. Similar to uh, location, right? And then, then we have logistics. Logistics, in a briefly way, it's actually very simple, supplying an operation, uh, with labor and materials as needed. That would say that in Spanish, logistics. Like prepare programs, prepare materials, so different things, coordinate logistics, coordinate points. And then we have assignment. This is the other word, assignment. Assignment is an undertaking that you have been told to perform. You have a responsibility that you have to fulfill you have to do something in the company. That's what we call assignment. If you need to sell a product to distribute the production, you have an assignment. And also in Spanish will be like a kind of tarea, right? That's what we call, uh, es una tipo tarea o trabajo. As, yeah, also asignación también, assignment. It's similar, are synonyms, this word, similar synonyms. Assignment. And then we have enrollment. What is enrollment? It actually, the act of registering something. That would say in Spanish, como un registro, registrarse. Cuando usted va a la universidad, when you go to university, you need to study, you have to enroll, right? The process of registering for something. And then we have database, the database. Also, this is another term, an organized body of related information. All the information you can find is actually right there. And then we have inquiry. That is an instance of questionings. I have a question, so you have a kind of inquiry. And the last one is the act, that, that is shipment, the act of sending of something. That is a very common word. The meaning about ship uh, shipment 
it's actually um, when you send something, como tipo envío, that's what we call shipments. Well, guys, we're about to go. The time is actually up. Uh, we took more time than expected, and also the class was like very, very fast. Uh, no questions? Questions or doubts? No. Not the chat. Thank you. Okay, do me a favor, please. Uh, don't forget that it, that you had to complete the exercises for this class because I need to uh, take the, ex the score of the exercises that you had developed. Don't forget to conclude the exercises of these days because I need to send this information to Insafor. So if you haven't done a previous exercise, try to do it uh, as fast as you can now, if that is possible. So thank you so much, guys, and have a wonderful night to all of you. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Good bye. night, everybody. Good night. Too. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Night-night. Teacher, teacher, sorry. I have some question because I have problem in the platform in exercise number two. Can I share the screen? if you want because i don't know i tried that many times but i don't know what in the number two and when when you use it not only but also and i tried to do and i tried to write in a in a word and but i i don't know what's good what's going on in the platform or maybe i have some um sorry i have a it says a uh, mistake. Remember. I know identified the mistake. <laughs> okay, it Sorry. says it says that they, they rewrite the sentences again using not only but also, right? So, yes, in the yes, it's in the unit two. I did all of them, but the in the in the two point two, I have some problem. Maybe it's a platform, I don't know, or maybe I have uh in the not only they are, know, but the also idea. with their parents. Not only uh, there are problems with children, but also with their parents. Okay, if you want yes. me, if you want me, I can help you with that. Let me look for it um, right now, this exercise. Can you do me a favor to chat in by WhatsApp okay. and I can help you with that. Okay, I'm going to send. Okay, thank you, Tisha. Thank You're you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, bye. Have a bye. good night. Thank you. Too. you. Thank you.